in this video I'm not going to talk how nice this thing sounds. It sounds really nice, yes, everybody said that already and there are plenty other videos with scientific research why exactly this thing sounds so nice. In this video I want to talk about two issues I have with this thing and about one big flow. The first one is the build quality itself. This thing wobbles even if it's connected through original Type-C to Type-A adapter that comes with that thing in the box. It wobbles and not just wobbles, it is, well, really poorly made. And it's not just cosmetic thing or minor inconvenience. Sometimes sound just disappears and sometimes only one earphone plays. It doesn't matter which device you connect this thing to, just slight movement can make this thing turn off and you need to reconnect to bring the sound back. It is convenient, it is inconvenient, of course, if you connect this to a computer or a laptop, which you do not move too much, it's okay and you probably won't gonna experience this very often. But connect it to a phone and if you bring it somewhere, of course you bring your phone anywhere with you, anywhere. And in this case, it is really annoying and you have to reconnect this pretty often. The sound disappears, disconnect, connect, and it wobbles just a little bit and sound goes away. The second issue or inconvenience with this Ibasa DCO3 or whatever you pronounce this, if I connect headphones with those clicky buttons, you can click and adjust your volume or skip to the next track or just pause. If I connect this, if I connect those earphones through this thing, I just cannot do this anymore. My earphones just became just earphones without any buttons. Well, how I do usually, for example, with my MacBook. In the dark, I just put my earphones on, connect this to MacBook, like without any adapters or whatever, because MacBook sounds pretty nice already out of the box without any additional DAC required. So, and when I'm using MacBook, I can adjust and I can skip, I can adjust volume. So I just can lay down, close my eyes and listen to music in the dark and if needed I just can skip tracks or just pause playback and this way I really can enjoy the music I'm listening because I'm in the dark, nothing distracts me and uh, all my focus, all my attention on the music itself and if needed I just without opening my eyes can sp skip the tracks, pause, playback, continue playback, adjust the volume. Well, it is really convenient and I <laughs> just like how it is. But this thing, no matter if I connect this to a phone or to a laptop, buttons just won't work. You cannot adjust playback, you cannot adjust volume or everything I just said. And uh, I cannot listen to my music as I'm used to. I cannot just close my eyes and relax and listen to the beautiful sound of the music I'm listening. Okay. Anyway, it is annoying because I have to open my eyes to adjust volume or skip tracks. And probably this is the worst thing about this DAC for me. But when I'm watching movies, for example, or some videos, it's not an issue because usually I just, I just adjust the volume beforehand and uh, it is consistent throughout the movie, th throughout the whole movie. But while listening to music it is really annoying because it breaks focus and uh, <laughs> basically the whole experience of listening to music in the dark, trying to relax, just laying and not thinking about anything. And in this case I have to think how do I, how do I adjust volume or skip tracks. And the third one is a the cable. Well, it is the cable and if you are using earphones you probably know that sooner or later it just bends over in some place and basically breaks. So sooner or later this thing 
will bend over as well and uh, you just throw it away. This thing costs about 50 or 60 USD. So if you do not have much money in the first place, you consider to buy this thing to get some nice sound. And it sounds really nice. My favorite way to watch movies or listen to music. In the same time, you want this thing to last long. And it won't. At some point in time, it will eventually break. It just how cables, how those tiny cables are made. <laughs> they are made to break. It would be really nice if it, if there would be just a USB type C option. So you just connect one side of the cable and another side of the cable to whatever you want. And you can choose whatever the length you want. One meter, two meters or three meters or whatever. You just can connect it to a PC under your table and it would be acting like a sound card or DAC, how it's supposed to be. And in this case, it would be really nice. But longevity of this thing, well, I'm not sure if it lasts long. I had a DC02, DC2, DC02, whatever before. And in this place, it bent really, really bad. It is pretty stiff, it is pretty hard so it damages the cables not just the cables itself at first but it starts with the this plastic shielding or if it's plastic or rubber or whatever so as i said at some point in time it will break let's sum it up you do not have much money you want to buy this not exactly cheap but affordable thing to get a nice sound you want to last it long but it won't so <laughs> I really do not know how to put this in, in words, but it's two things contradict each other. The budget thing that will eventually break and you cannot repair it because, well, maybe you can, but majority of people are not going to do this. So you spent your money, which you, which as we figure out, you do not have a lot of them. And uh, this thing breaks, so you throw it away. This kind of scenario probably would be more suitable for people who have a lot of money. So those people probably will buy this thing as some disposable thing. They buy stuff, it breaks, they throw it away. They are not fixing it, they are not repairing it, they are not repairing it. Let's say you're broke. I think, I think I'm repeating myself, but anyway. You're broke, you're buying this thing because it's affordable and it breaks and you cannot repair it. So you throw it away. There are a couple of usage scenarios for this. Well, the first one you just <laughs> take insulating tape again yeah. and make this thing unable to move. And if you're connecting this to a laptop or a PC under your table, this thing this way is going to last, if not forever, but for a long time. But if you are using this with your mobile phone, with some device you bring everywhere and it rubs and it bends, well, in this case it can bend and can be bent, but if you tape this thing, if you seal this thing completely, or how do you say this, I'm not sure which verb to use, well, it's it will be just a big unbendable stick, it's gonna be really inconvenient to carry around especially with your phone and you're just just imagine this thing every time and it cannot be bent and of course there's also some part of this headphone jack gonna be here so for me the best scenario for this thing is to use it as a sound card for your laptop or your computer, so it's just sitting on the table and it won't break. Of course, if you have a lot of money, as I said, you're just using this thing as some disposable stuff. It breaks, you throw it away. The sound is nice, and if you seal that cable completely, it's going to last for a long time. But at the same time, it's going to be, it's going to be inconvenient to carry around. Those are three issues I want to, t to talk about, I think. It's all what I wanted to say. You know the drill. Click the like button 
and please consider subscribing. Thank you for watching.